We're here today with Mario Reed promoting this new book to be released soon, Brothers, the Mario Reed story. Mario, I know it's been a real busy time for you and you've been working on this project not just this past year but since 2008. How does it feel to see your book come to fruition? Well, uh, it, it definitely is a blessing. It's a blessing itself to really put my story into words and I just hope uh, each reader find my story as uh, some form of inspiration and motivation to, to help them out in, in rough times in their life and also for them to find out what family and relationships is all about because that's mainly what my story emphasizes of uh, my family and the relationship of people help me along the way. So I'm just hoping that they can grab something from it and uh, hopefully it can, it can uh, help them out with some things that, that they'll need in their life. And when people pick up the book Brothers, they'll find out more about the man Mario Reed prior to the incident that happened in 1997 and what you got planned for the future. So how does it feel to let people know where you came from, what you've been through, and what you plan on doing for the future? Well, uh, it, like I said, it's definitely, uh, it, it's, an, it's an honor, I mean, for them to even to uh, read my story and also they will not only just learn something about me, they will learn something about themselves as well. And it will definitely just give them an opportunity to just do some soul searching and when they look at themselves, as, uh, as they, when things get hard, they will kind of find out that things are not always as bad as it may seem. And when you feel like you um, have your back against the wall, you can always see that there is light at the end of the day. And one thing that I, I've I mentioned in my story on my second page, I wrote a, wrote a quote, hope, faith, and enough to, to believe. And I think if you have those three things in life, you can do anything uh, that you want, anything that you can put your mind to. So uh, uh, I ask anyone just to uh, read my story and uh, uh, definitely pass it along and I'm pretty sure that uh, it will definitely help you out with some things along the way in your life. And uh, you also just can follow uh, uh, me on my website at martyrie.com with everything I'm doing and working on. Okay. And as we wrap up here today, everybody knows the number 29 in Millington. And some kids who will come along, they ask about the number 29, they see it on the scoreboard, and that Trojan football legend. How does it feel to be number 29 and to let people know the story behind that number? Well, uh, uh, I'm just blessed to, to be a Trojan. I mean, it's something that uh, uh, that I was grateful, you know what I'm saying, to, to have was a, a number, and I, I, I just love to be an athlete that to come through Milton and showcase my talent. And unfortunately, my career came to an end, you know I'm saying, uh, sooner than I expected. But I looked at God have a guide in my life in a different direction, and just know once if you have an opportunity to put on the jerseys and go hard, go 100% each and every uh, play and, and enjoy it because that's what I did when I was out there. I enjoyed the game. I had fun doing it and, and I don't have a regret at all. And, and I tell each and every one that I, that I mentor and talk to is have fun doing whatever you decide to do in life. Well, we appreciate it, Mario. And where can people get the book and find out more about you and the book? Uh, you, they can find out everything through martyrreed.com and the book is available through uh, Amazon and Barnes and Noble. We appreciate you coming in today and telling us about Brothers, the Martyr Reed story.